it's feeling it Friday. And yeah, yesterday I was in oversize again. Ugh. I'm like worn the fuck out from it. Well, I guess that's what you get when you're good at your job. Because a lot of people don't do that part seriously well when they have oversized next to their name they just do oversized no 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 oversized means oversized and anything else that requires the use of a printer for individual labels um like the made to orders which is which is the deli stuff the sliced deli stuff so it's just like an unknowns because unknowns are usually, well, they tend to be the ice up front and then like any other maybe random thing in the store that doesn't have a current assigned location. And now there's more of those because uh, mods are being set, which fuck, I miss doing mods so much. Like... I've decided that if my bestie ever leaves, if she wants to move down south, I'm just going to go to overnight on mod team. Because I have a bestie on night shift anyway, so. I mean, I'm not saying I don't love the rest of my crew, but. I don't know. I just kind of want to get away from customers. I've, I've been wanting to get away from customers for a long time. And it's, it's all been a matter of weighing the pros and cons of both shifts. It would make things harder in my content creation life at first. Um, but in the long run, it would be easier to do all this stuff while everybody's sleeping. Because that's why I get up early to record these vlogs. Because the house is quiet. There's no TV on upstairs. Because I don't know if my phone would pick it up, probably. Like, I know as far as streaming, I have my th thing set to not pick up, you know, background noise. Like, obviously it's going to get some things, but... The main thing I did was for, like, the noise of the computer. Because, you know, a certain thing will make the fan speed up. And it does get a little bit loud. Um, but, yeah, I, I do. I really do miss doing mods. I really do. There's only, like, a couple areas that I hated doing them in. Like, electronics, it sucks. Pretty much anything with a locked case. And there's a lot more stuff locked up. Like, my store has now gotten... Practically the entire cosmetics department behind doors. And they're brand new cases. They're like, they just look like cages, like black cages with doors on them. And it's like a graded, it's like a, I don't know, it's got like holes in it on the top. But. It kind of sucks because there's no lighting. And the old cos... And the, and those cosmetic fixtures before we got everything locked up actually had lighting and it was bright back there. Now it's like dark in that corner of the store. So it's like, they better get some lighting because it looks gloomy up here. And I'll tell you what, it's a good thing I don't fucking wear makeup. It is a damn good thing. It's just too expensive. I'd rather spend my money on stuff for making videos or art supplies. I don't need to make my face look pretty because the last time I did that I got hit on and I ain't pulled play in that shit again. Like, bruh. Like, I swear the next customer that even does do that to me or tries, I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm a famous YouTuber. Can you not? <laughs> like, 
I'm a YouTuber. If I'm going to tell YouTube about you, can you just go away? <laughs> like, I'm going to tell YouTube you're hitting on me. Speaking of... And, and I know I mentioned this yesterday. That we're going to do the um, trolling of... Um, Facebook creeps that send me friend requests because I'm going to accept them and then I'm going to troll the fuck out of them. And I'm coming up with ideas and like I got all these ideas like popping into my head. Like I got one if they try to scam me out of money I'll be like I can lie and say like I, so, I, what I want to do is kind of make these half-truths, so, like, there's going to be something truthful in it. But then the rest of it's going to be pretty much a lie. <clears throat> and I'm thinking about one. If they try to skim me out of money, I'll be like, be like, dude, I don't have any money because I was in a car accident last year and I'm now handicapped. I can't work anymore, so I don't make any money. And then try to do all this pity me shit to make them feel bad for trying to scam me out of money. And then if they just keep pushing at it, I'll be like... Yeah, I don't have anyone that can give me money to give you, but I do have a cop down the street who I'm friends with. We do actually have a cop down the street. I don't know the guy, but... We do have a cop down the street that I'm friends with who can um, relieve you of your money issue and then see what happens after that. So yeah, I, I have some interesting ways, ideas I'm popping in my head to troll, to troll um, creepy hookups and scammers on, on Facebook. For next year so I'm in the process of working on those and I'm gonna write them down in a notebook so depending on each situation for friend requests and that I get we'll, we'll, we'll roll with one of them um, like I said if y'all got ideas for it, if y'all like to watch this and, and start coming up with ideas please find me on Twitter and uh, send me those cuz oh yeah a lot of fun with it. Oh yes, we can have so much fun with it. And I think that'll just make for some quite entertaining content on here. Um, I don't teach those fucking creeps to leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Cause we got one to add. I got sent another friend request uh, last week and I was tempted to accept it and just troll the fuck out of him but I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is where I kind of got the idea from. Cause I, so I left the friend request hanging for a little bit. My best use is, like, block them. I'm like, oh, I can make a poem, a trolling poem, and just, we'll cut it in half and just send the first half and see if they respond. And then I'll send the other half, which is a lot more mean. Um, it's, like, a little bit more fucked up and mean to do. Um, because I also made... I made a list for the intro to the series of ways to tell that guys are creeps on Facebook. Um, so yeah, there'll obviously be an intro. Like I said, I still haven't figured out what to call it yet, but oh, the ideas that are coming to me for this shit is going to be... Oh, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to have fun. I love making people laugh. So if y'all are new to the channel... Yes, I know my vlogs aren't entertaining, but I just like chatting about whatever. And I really want to do just chatting streams, like I know some people do. But like nobody ever shows up to my other ones anyway on Twitch. Um, but yeah, I, I just... <laughs> I love to make people laugh. And I'm glad that um, yesterday's Goofy Granny made people laugh. It made some people laugh so um I do have plenty more uh 
signs of aging for those of you who get it and who realize, ugh, this shit's hitting me. <laughs> like, I know it starts in your 30s, but oh, trust me, once you hit 40, it gets even worse. Um, so at least for me at 42, almost 43, well, January 30th, I'll be 43. It's easy to come up with stuff. Plus, I have elderly parents who can also give me things to put in it. Um, a little bit of a uh, depressing side note, though. The bills this paycheck are ridiculous. And it sucks, because the one fair that I want to go to is this pay period. I've been dying for a fucking funnel cake. And I'm like, well, I don't even really have a lot extra for groceries, so I guess I'm not going and getting a funnel cake from the fair. And it was not even just that. Um, I, I love walking through and seeing all the artwork from around the, from around the, the area. And there's livestock judging and judging <clears throat> for like vegetables and stuff that you grow like it is literally a farm fair and i love it i just love the atmosphere it, it's a very positive um atmosphere not to mention the uh building where the local uh local uh companies make french fries in uh they've had mom my mom paint murals all along the side of the building no i know she's gonna eventually send me pictures um but like i want to see them up close although to be fair when you go to the fair you know it's crowded and i'm i'm i've gotten to that point where I really fucking hate crowds. Like, I just hate when work is crowded, and that's how Walmart gets sometimes. Especially on weekends. It's like, it just gives me anxiety, but I have to fight it, and nobody understands that, I feel. Walmart sure don't give a shit, but um, like, I really want to get out of that, but unfortunately this does not pay the bills, or I would. Um, <clears throat> In fact, this does not pay anything because, you know, I don't get the view views that would help me get monetized. And I feel like I probably never will. Or if anything, maybe when I'm dead and gone. Because that's usually how us artists live. We don't make any money on our art. Or anything we create. And then it becomes valuable once we're gone. So, unfortunately, that is what it is, but... I'm never going to stop doing it. So just a reminder to y'all. I will never stop creating content until the day I die. Ain't nobody going to force me to stop. No stupid hater, stupid Karen. They're all going to get a middle finger to the face if they try. Because they're stupid. Nobody will ever stop me from making content until the day I drop dead. Or get raptured, whichever comes first. So, another day of bullshit to get dressed for. See y'all on the flip side. Should be a dad joke coming today. And I know I haven't done any y'all ever's in a hot minute. I do have, I think, a couple recorded on my phone still. The question is, will I use them? Or just think, eh. And delete them. I don't know. We'll see. Have a good Friday, y'all. And don't forget, it's not Happy Friday because I work tomorrow. <laughs>